Scientology was invented by... L. Ron Hubbard. ...who started out as a science fiction writer. He said, and I quote, writing for a penny a word is ridiculous. If a man really wanted to make a million dollars, he'd start his own religion. You know, people like you take that quote way out of context. Uh, people like me? Does that mean uh, non-believers or lawyers? Foot fetishes? Objection. Uh, Mr. Carnes, what's an engram? Uh, an engram is basically a psychic scar. It's the uh, origin of illness. And as I... It's, uh, life, according to Scientology, is all about ridding yourself of these uh, engrams. You do this by pursuing a path of enlightenment uh, known... Uh, help me out. The bridge to total freedom. And at each stage of the bridge, you are audited by a senior church member who hooks you up to some uh, electronic device. An electropsychometer. Is it painful? No. Ah. And after you go through all the stages, uh, you become an operating thetan, thetan, thetan. That's right. And OTs, as they're called, are said to be able to communicate with animals, move inanimate objects, leave their bodies at will. You hope to do that? One day. Are thetans immortal? It's been said. Well, in fact, uh, most Scientologists believe Brother Hubbard will return. And Christians believe Jesus will come again. Are they all nuts? Most. Scientologists also believe that uh, 75 million years ago, an evil galactic warlord, and here's where I can almost taste the maple syrup, uh, an evil warlord by the name of Xenu dumped 13 trillion aliens from different planets into the Earth's volcanoes and then vaporized them with H-bombs. You're familiar with this. Yes. And the radioactive souls of these poor, vaporized alien creatures continue to enter into our bodies, implanting engrams and false ideas about Christ and God and psychiatry. And that's why we have to purge ourselves of all of these engrams. Yes. And when one releases an engram, the erasure is often accompanied by yawns or tears, uh, sweat, odor, panting, urine, vomiting, and other extrata. You've heard this? Yes. So, basically, every time you piss, puke, or crap, uh, you're a step closer to immortality. Objection. Getting closer as I speak.